Yo what is going on guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm excited to show you the new features of Filmora 14. So let's dive right into it. Alright here we are with the interface of Filmora 14. At first glance, it looks pretty similar to Filmora 13. The main changes are in the icons, and the new features showcase window. Aside from that, you'll also notice Filmora Cloud, Creator Hub, and the toolbox on the side panel, which were also part of Filmora 13 we saw. So, let's jump into Filmora 14 itself. So the workspace layout hasn't changed much, but I like it. They kept it simple and familiar. Now, let's check out the exciting new features. First up, we have the magnetic layer and layer link options. You'll find these on the timeline right here. With the magnetic layer option disabled, you can move your video layers freely and even leave gaps between them. But when you enable it, those gaps automatically close, snapping clips together, pretty handy for quick edits. Next is the layer link option, which simplifies moving grouped layers. For example, I have a video clip with a filter effect and a text layer. Normally I'd have to select all of them to move them together. But with layer link enabled, you just select one layer and it moves all the linked ones as well. This is super helpful when you're working with multiple elements. Next, let's talk about the Filmora new co-pilot feature. It was introduced in Filmora 13, but now it's even more integrated into the editing timeline. You can access it from the toolbar. The updated interface looks more advanced, offering options like adding resources, adjusting audio, and formatting your project. Let's walk through an example. I want to add a zoom transition between these two clips. I select add resource, then we can see it adds a simple text prompt in the text box like this. So here I'm going to add a zoom transition between these clips so I change this prompt like this. For the first box I add the transition what I need, I type warp zoom 6 transition. Then for the second box I add where it needs to be placed I changed it to between. And I keep the last one as a default. Ok after you type your prompt, you need to select the layers you want to add the transition, so I select these layers, and here it shows how many layers you selected. Also if I select all these layers, it shows how many texts and effects layers I selected. Ok after selecting the layer, click this send button. So you can see Filmora applies the exact transition. And also if we click this to expand the info, you can choose a different zoom transition from the list, it's that simple. So guys now we have the new AI sound effect feature, in the audio section. This lets you generate sound effects, by just typing what you need. You can also adjust the duration, and number of sound effects. Then simply click the generate button. It's a quick and easy way to add custom sound effects to your videos. Next is the AI face mosaic feature. In previous versions, you could only apply a mosaic effect to one face, but now in Filmora 14, you can blur multiple faces with just one effect. To use it, go to the effects tab, select body effects, and pick the face mosaic option. So in here we have a few different mosaic effects, so I picked this classic mosaic effect and add it to the layer like this. Then wait until the process is complete. After applying it, you can adjust the settings to customize which faces to blur, how strong the effect is, and even invert the effect if needed. This is a great update for privacy-focused edits. Now, let's talk about the AI color palette feature. Honestly, it feels similar to the color match option from earlier versions, like Filmora 11, 12 and 13. The only real change is that you can now upload both images and videos for match colors. So you can see it's not entirely new, but it's a nice feature to keep color grading flexible. The AI video enhancer is next. If you're working with low quality footage, this feature lets you enhance it. So you just need to do just enable the AI video enhancer and click the generate button. Then wait until the process is complete. After the process is done, let's see the result. 
You can see the result looks okay. Not pretty good like the Topaz Enhancer we use. You can see it leaves a matte look. So hopefully they improve it in future updates. So the AI Voice Enhancer, on the other hand, works really well. So you can found it in the audio section. After enabling it, I tested it on a clip with background noise, and you can see it completely removed the background car sounds like this. And sorry about that, everybody. If Actually that was made fault. it worse. Yeah, but apparently you can get the aftermarket controller that will control the valves. Apparently somebody commented on that our last video. Leaving the voice much clearer. This is definitely a useful feature for improving audio quality. Next is the AI video denoise feature. This was available in earlier versions as an effect, but now it's built into Filmora 14. If your footage has a lot of noise like this, you can use this to clean it up. Just go to AI Tools, find the Video Denoise option, and enable it. Then let the process finish. So you can see the results are pretty good. Also, you can simply fine-tune the denoise level here as well. One of my favorite new features is the Curve Path option, which lets you create smoother animations. So first I adding a keyframe, and then you can enable the Curve Path option. Then you can see it appearing a point in the center. So this point is the center point, or you can call it an anchor point. Next I will show you a simple example of this. So I go a few seconds forward. Then I drag this circle, and you can see it make a path like this. Then I make a simple animation using this path like this. Okay after that you can see, the circle moving on the path we created. You can also switch from this linear path, to a curved path, by right clicking the point, and selecting a key graph preset, for a, example I apply curve. Then you can change this path to curve path like this. So guys you can see this adds a whole new level of precision to your animations. Next is the updated keyframe panel. You can still apply keyframes like before, but in Filmora 14, the keyframe panel is now directly integrated into the video layer. You access it by right-clicking the layer and selecting Show Keyframe Animation. Then you can click this icon to open the keyframe panel. And in here you can find the all the keyframes we created. Also if we need to adjust the key graph, you can simply click this graph icon to open the key graph. Then you can simply adjust the key graph as you need. What's cool about this update is that now you can adjust the key graph for effects as well, which wasn't possible in previous versions. This makes smoothing animations much easier. Another standout feature is planar tracking. For example, I want to place a screen recording onto this laptop screen. So now this new planner tracking makes it super easy. So we need to do just select the clip and go to the AI tools, then choose the planner tracking mode. In here we have two options like auto and advanced. So I select advanced, then it appearing a tracking box. Then I place the tracking box on the laptop screen like this. OK after placing the tracking box, go to the settings, and here you can adjust the accuracy as you need. So I set it to high, so after that click this button to start tracking. Once it's tracked, link your screen recorded clip, and it will automatically attach to the laptop screen like this. So you can see it's a very useful and powerful tool and one of my personal favorites in Filmora 14. Alright guys, the next feature is the Smart Background Music Generator. Let's say you have a video clip, and you want the background music to match perfectly with it. This tool makes it super easy. First I open the new Smart BGM Generator, and click the Start button to create the music. 
The software then automatically analyzes your video and generates a background music track that fits the mood and pace. The process takes just a few moments, depending on the length of your video. All right, it's done. Let's check out the result. As you can hear, the background music is perfectly synced with the video, creating a seamless match. I think this is a really useful feature. Now, if you need to create a short version of your video, this next feature is a game changer. Filmora added a great new tool that simplifies the process. You can find it in the toolbox. After selecting it, a new window opens where you can upload your video. There are also two extra options like, you can upload directly from YouTube or from Filmora Cloud. So let's add a video to this. Once your video is uploaded, you'll need to choose a few settings, like the language, duration, and theme. In the advanced settings, you can adjust the video ratio and even use the smart BGM generator to create custom music for your short video. There's also a text box where you can describe the main topic or theme you want the video to focus on. After setting everything up, just click the generate button. In a few minutes, you'll get three different short video versions. You can preview them and choose the one that fits best. If you want to make a few adjustments, just click the edit button, then you can add more text, effects, or fine tune the clips as you needed. So you can see this feature is super interesting and makes creating short, shareable videos quick and easy. Finally, let's talk about the multicam option. This is great for projects with multiple camera angles like podcasts or tutorials but it works similarly to the compound clip option. So when you need to create a multi-cam clip, you need to select your clips, then right-click and choose Create Multi-Camera Clip. In here you can add name, and here we have two synchronization method like audio and first frame. So mostly we use audio sync, so you can choose what you need, and also you can create a proxy file if needed. Then you need to simply click this OK button, so then you can see it make a new multi-cam clip it's similar like a compound clip we make. After creating the multi-cam clip, you can adjust scenes just by double-clicking the layer, and then you can tweaking the footage as needed. So this is the new multi-cam feature, but we can do the same thing using the compound clip as well. So those are the new features in Filmora 14. I think the updates like planner tracking, path curve, new keyframe panel, and AI voice enhancer are pretty impressive. On the other hand, features like the AI color palette and multicam are still quite similar to what we've seen before, but hopefully they'll improve in future updates. So now you can try out Filmora 14 yourself. Check the link in the description and let me know your thoughts in the comments. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.